Drop has created the most revolutionary line of water treatment products in the world. This video will show you just how the Drop City water softener works and what makes it so revolutionary. Drop water softener systems are efficient, easy to install, and easy to service. But before we see how they work, let's take a minute to identify the various parts of the system. The City water softener has three main components, the control valve, the mineral tank, and the brine tank. The control valve directs the flow of the water within the system, and in the case of the drop control valve, it provides the patented ability to detect excess water use through its built-in water meter and the capability to remotely shut off your water or bypass the treatment through its unique pro-quality piston design. Untreated water enters the inlet on the right and treated water exits the outlet on the left. Contaminants are flushed from the system to a drain from the smaller outlet also on the left side of the valve. Under the control valve is the media tank. Inside the media tank is a tube that runs to the bottom of the tank called the distributor tube. At the bottom and middle of the distributor tube are innovative plate distributors. The plate distributors have many small slits that allow the clean water to flow through but keeps the media from entering home water supply. This unique distributor enables drop softeners to use less salt and water during the cleaning cycle. The final element of the mineral tank is the media. Drop City softeners have catalytic carbon in the top portion of the tank for chemical reduction and ion exchange resin in the bottom. The resin is what removes the hardness from the water. There are several brands of resin available, but we choose to use Aldex 800 because of its long life, its high efficiency, and because it is made 100% in North America. Connecting the softener control valve to the brine tank is the brine line. This tube has two functions. It's used to draw the brine out of the brine tank, and it's also used to refill the brine tank for future regeneration. The final component is the brine tank. The brine tank is where salt is added to the system. All drop brine tanks include a salt grid at the bottom of the tank. The salt grid helps to keep the salt from bridging. This happens when the glue in the salt forms a false top. When bridging occurs, you might look in the brine tank to see it looks full of salt, leading you to think the system has not been using salt. Another standard feature of all drop water softeners is the drop low salt sensor. This sensor lets you know when salt has fallen below a minimum level before you run completely out, so you have a week or two to get more salt. Low salt notifications, like all system notifications, can be sent via push notifications to your smartphone, text messages, or email. Now that you have seen the elements, it's time to see how it works. By following the arrows, you will see the process starts with raw water entering the system. The water is quickly diverted down into the media tank where it first flows through the catalytic carbon. The carbon removes chlorine and chloramines which will improve the taste and eliminate odors. Next, the water flows through the resin. This starts the softening process. Calcium and magnesium are attracted to the resin beads as the water passes through. By the time the water reaches the bottom of the tank, it's been softened. The softened water then flows up through the center distributor tube and out to the home. At some point, the resin will become full of calcium and magnesium and become ineffective. When this happens, the resin needs to be cleaned of contaminants or recharged. We do this with a process called regeneration. There are four steps to regeneration in a drop water softening system. Step one is backwash. This loosens or expands the resin. In this state, water flow is reversed and diverted down the distributor tube. The water is then forced up through the resin bed. As the water pushes up through the bed, the resin expands and the plate distributor creates a swirling action. Step 2 is brine draw. This pulls the brine from the brine tank and saturates the media tank with brine that is used to release the calcium and magnesium from the resin. Now with the media tank full of dissolved salt water, it's time for step 3, rapid rinse. Since our resin bed is still expanded, we will need to compress the bed back down and rinse the residual brine water and contaminants from the media tank. Step 4 is brine refill. This completes the process of regeneration and puts water back in the brine tank so it can dissolve the salt into a brine solution to regenerate the resin in the future. Users do have the ability to move brine refill to the first step if they desire. This is called pre-brining. And if this option is selected, the brine tank will not have any water in it most of the time. 
When a regeneration is required, the system will add water to the brine tank about two hours before the process begins to allow the water to dissolve the salt into a brine solution. Pre-brining can help keep the salt in the brine tank from bridging, but will delay the regeneration process by two hours if you ever want to force an immediate regeneration. In addition to all the benefits of a premium water softener, the Drop City water softener has additional benefits that are not available in any other water softeners in the world. Drop softeners have the patented ability to shut off water flow to the home. This puts the ability to turn your water off or back on in the palm of your hand with the Drop Connect app. Even better, when the meter on the softener valve or an optional drop leak detector sense a problem with your home, the drop softener will automatically respond by turning off your water and notifying you of the issue. Another unique feature offered in drop softeners is the ability to remotely bypass the treatment. If you happen to be outside watering the garden and don't want to waste treated water, turning off treatment is as simple as opening the drop app and touching a button. When you buy a drop city water softener, you are installing a product in your home that is part of an ever-expanding ecosystem of water management products designed to work together in harmony. All drop products are controlled by the drop hub, which is the brains of the system and can coordinate hundreds of devices within the home while also connecting your system to the cloud for remote access. With a Drop City water softener, you will be in total control of your water system and be able to monitor your water activity from anywhere. If someone leaves a garden hose running or you have a malfunctioning toilet, you'll know it. The Drop City Water Softener provides everything you need to improve your water quality, protect your home from costly leaks, and conserve water, which is great for the environment and saves you money. Hopefully this has given you a clearer understanding of how a water softener works and why the Drop City Softener is the most advanced water softener on the market. For more information, visit our support site, dropconnect.com.